TV host Mickey Huang was first embroiled in Taiwan's Me Too movement last June, after two women claimed he sexually assaulted them when they were 17. Investigators later found seven explicit videos depicting minors as young as 12 on his computer. The findings resulted in Huang being fined around 37,000 U.S. dollars, prompting outcries from rights groups and highlighting how Taiwan handles sexual offenders. It is not the provider or the creator of the illegal content. Instead, he's uh, in possession of this illegal content. In fact, Taiwan only recently revised its laws to make possession of these materials a criminal offense. It is now a criminal offense and could be subject to up to one year of imprisonment. And apparently, compared to other countries such as uh, the United States or the United Kingdom, and the penalties in Taiwan against this kind of behavior is still relatively low. According to the UK-based Internet Watch Foundation, the majority of reported URLs containing child sexual abuse were hosted in the Netherlands, the U.S., and Slovakia in 2022. However, Taiwan was still the fifth largest host country for this content, accounting for 5% of the global total. And it's a global problem. The site where Huang obtained the material was registered in the United States, had servers in China, and charges customers in Chinese renminbi. Huang was reportedly one of 80 VIP members who paid hundreds of U.S. dollars for access. Although the site has been blocked in Taiwan, the case raises questions about what the government can do to stop websites like it. The technologies are there. We could filter the content, we could monitor the content, we could check the identity of the users. It's just legally we need to consider our legal values, whether we might compromise the security or the privacy or the freedom of speech. But the issue goes beyond just stopping the spread of this content and punishing those who produce and sell it. This material can also have devastating, long-lasting effects on the people it depicts. The spread of this material online is something that no one wants to imagine, but everyone must face. And while the scope of the problem is global, its impacts can be felt, and perhaps more importantly, solutions can be proposed locally. James Lin and Chris Gorin for Taiwan Plus.